Welcome to the Burndy Medium and Large Hydent Crimp Instruction video. This video will guide you through the steps on how to properly crimp your connectors. Step 1. Select the appropriate Hydent connector for the conductor to be crimped and verify the conductor and connector markings are the same. For better visual identification, the Burndy connector which accommodates class A, B, and AA co-conductor will have solid color bands on the connector barrel. Flexible conductor classes G, H, I, K, and M will have the lettering and narrow bands color coded. Step 2. Measure appropriate strip length. Line up the connector barrel to the wire and mark the cable. Strip the cable to the needed length with a wire stripper or similar tool to strip the insulation. Strip the insulation carefully to avoid nicking or cutting conductors. Wire brush as required. Strip the insulation to the proper length so the conductor can be fully inserted into the connector barrel. Step 3. Select the appropriate die style to match the installation tool. The die index number and color code indicated on the connector should match when the correct die is chosen. Step 4. Insert the dies into the tool. Step 5. Insert the conductor fully into the connector barrel. If an inspection window is provided, the conductor end can be easily seen. Step 6. Place the connector between the installed dies. Use the color stripes as a guide for crimp placement. Refer to master catalog pages for required amount of crimps depending on tool and die selected. Step 7. Begin the tool's crimping cycle and continue until the full cycle is complete. Be sure to always crimp from the tongue end to the conductor end. Release RAM. Repeat process until all crimp locations on the barrel have been completed. Step 8. Once all crimps have been completed, the connection is ready and can be inspected for proper installation. The embossment made by the die should match that on the connector. Step 9. Inspection. Ensure the correct number of crimps were made. Ensure the die index embossment matches the die index on the connector markings. The orientation of the crimp is not critical on a seamless barrel. Standard practice for medium and large hydent terminals is not to alternate the crimp direction, but doing so would not negatively affect the integrity of the connector or resulting connection.